Hi everyone, I am here with a, another tutorial today. This is going to be kind of a glitter New Year's look. It's a little different take on my last tutorial, which was a bright silver eye with glitter and bright red lips. Uh, so this one's a little bit more of a feminine look. It's a really pretty kind of bronzy, purpley pink eye with a really pretty nude lip and some soft cheeks. And this is actually a collab with my good friend here, Sarah, or Beauty Buzz Hub. She's also doing a glitter look, so don't forget to check her out after you watch this video and see what she came up with. And I know you guys will love her. She is just probably one of the sweetest girls that I've met on YouTube. And she had an old channel that was Makeup by Sarah Sparkle. Uh, so if you were subscribed to that one but you haven't subscribed to her on Beauty Buzz Hub, make sure you do that because that is her new channel. And I will link all of that information down below so that you can um, go check her out, obviously, after you watch this. So uh, yeah, this is the look that I came up with. I thought it was a really fun, you know, kind of feminine look. So really simple, really easy. And I do give you alternative products because some of them are not drugstore products. So I did give you kind of my best, I give you kind of my best, um, you know, dupes that I could find in my collection that you could use instead of using the MAC uh, products that I'll be using. So um, anyways, this is the look that I came up with and if you guys wanna see how I created this look, then just stay tuned. So I've already primed my eyes and the first thing you're gonna want to do is grab your Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. This is probably my most used um, color tattoo that I have. And you're just going to apply that to your lid. Make sure you keep it under your crease though. Just kind of blend it out. All right, so once we have that applied, you're gonna to wanna to grab a small pencil brush. And I'm just using this one from MAC. And uh, the alternative you can use besides the MAC one that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna use Nocturnal. And if you don't have Nocturnal, you can use this purple from the Wet n Wild Lust palette. It's very similar, so you could use that purple um, if you want an alternative. I'm just going to use Nocturnal. And I'm just taking the pencil brush and you're gonna wanna make sure you're looking straight ahead and raise your eyebrow just a little bit and you're gonna take it right into the crease. And I'm stopping right about, if I'm facing forward, I'm stopping right where the white starts. Then I'm gonna take just a fluffy brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just gonna start blending that out. And you're gonna like blend the heck out of this. So um, one way that I find is a little easier is if you just kind of lift your eyebrow a little bit it really helps to kind of hold that skin taut and you're gonna do it gently. And that just helps to kind of get in there to blend. So when you're blending your eye, you know, your eye's not moving around, you just kind of hold it. And it really helps to blend that color out without your eye kind of moving all over the place. And just kind of blend this middle part out. Okay, then for my highlight, I'm just going to use my Naked Basics palette. This is like my go-to palette for any, you know, matte neutral colors. And I'm gonna go in with WOS, which is Walk of Shame. Any matte cream color you have will work. You could even use um, the cream shade in this palette if you want. I'm gonna do my best to give drugstore alternatives when I do a tutorial that's not using strictly drugstore products. That way if you don't have the higher end products that you can just you know go to the drugstore and buy them and uh, achieve close to the same look. So I'm gonna do my best to do that for all my tutorials. So next you're going to take, um, these are those crushed metal pigments that I recently hauled that I've been telling you I'm obsessed with. And um, this one is in the color Prettified, which is a really pretty kind of uh, purpley bronze shade. So if you don't have that, you can use Bronzed Taupe from Maybelline, or um, if you don't have that, the MAC one, you can use Bronzed Taupe, and it will give you a very similar look. It won't be dead on, 
um, but it will be you know pretty close. So uh, then just take a flat shader brush. This is a Mac 239. I'm spraying it with, oops, sorry, spraying it with some Fix Plus. And then I'm just going to start patting that onto the lid. And I love this color. It's just like this really gorgeous bronzed shade, but then when you pair it with purples, it just kind of brings out the purple tones in the pigment, and it's just really, really beautiful. And I just kind of press it on, and you may have a little bit of fallout, which is not, not a big deal. And you're just going to pack that all into the lid onto the lid. For my outer corner, if you do not have these colors, you can use um, this color here or even a combination of these two colors. Um, I'm gonna start out with a little bit of Max Sketch, which is a really pretty kind of plummy um, kind of a plummy brown color. And if you're wondering what's on my nails, it's Revlon's Cupid. And a short little shader brush like this. This is the chisel shader, I believe, from Makeup Geek. So I'm just going to pack that onto my brush. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just tap this in this outer portion here. That's all I'm doing is just tapping it onto the lid. I'm just keeping it on this outer side. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping it and then I'm tapping it up in a V. Just kind of going in a V motion here. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with Intoxicate which is very similar to this dark shade here. I would say that they are almost spot on dupes. So I'm gonna take that dark shade and do the same thing. Just tapping it into this outer corner. So I'm just staying underneath the crease here. Sorry, I'm trying to work with the autofocus and the manual focus so that it doesn't kind of blur in and out all the time. blending brush again and just kind of blend that out a little bit and I'm gonna pack just a tiny bit more of that what's left on my brush just into this inner corner all right then for my waterline I'm going to just line it with a black liner this is smolder from Max so go ahead and line your waterline and then I'll be right back okay so I applied my liner on my waterline also tight lined a little bit and did a small little bit of a cat eye winged liner so for the bottom lash line you're going to take that small chisel brush again and that nocturnal color or this purple from this palette and you're just going to kind of like run that along your lower lash line and then take a little bit of intoxicate which was that dark color um, and run that along your lash line Just like that. Very, very easy. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara, and I will be right back again. All right, so this is the finished look. I just paired um, a nude lip with this look. You could obviously do a brighter lip if you wanted to, uh, but I chose to do a kind of mauve nude lip, and I used the Too Faced Perfect Lips in Perfect Nude, lined my lips, filled them in, and then I used the Too Faced Centerfold Lipstick. Both of these I purchased off Hotlook, Oatlook. Uh, and then I just topped it with a little bit of Buxom's White Russian Lip Gloss on top, and I love the way that it turned out. For my cheeks, I just used the MAC Blush in Small Vanity, and then contoured with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and just the regular chocolate uh, color. And that is the finished look. I think that this would be a really fun look for a new, definitely a more feminine look with the kind of pink and purple 
bronzy eye uh, and it's a little different than my last look which was a bright silver eye with a bright red lip so I kind of wanted to give you a few different options and uh, yeah so don't forget to check out Sarah's video I will link it down below so you can see how she used glitter uh, for her New Year's look or her glitter look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys soon bye